Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Thousand Week Reich, in which we're playing as the beautiful Republic of China, and per normal rules on this channel, I always show you the custom game rules, everything is going to be random, no idea what's, go what's going to happen, oh actually we can do intervention? Nah, I don't want to know what happens, I want it to be completely random, at least for this campaign, oh veto for default, withdraw. China will abstain? Ah, who cares? We're going to do the best that we possibly can. I I don't want to know what's going to happen or what potentially could happen. Well, actually, I kind of know what could potentially happen, but the mods we're using are State Transfer Tool Mod, Player of the Peace Conferences, Colored Buttons, Colored Events, and of course, as well as the Thousand Week Reich Mod, but here we are with the Republic of China. For some time now, the Republic of China has stood as Asia's rising potential hegemon ever since Japan fell outside the looming outside power of the United States, established in 1912 with the fall of the Qing Empire after the Xinhai Revolution. The old Republic quickly devolved into warlords fighting amongst each other. It was the KMT who had seized the initiative, and in the mid to late 20s came the Northern Expedition where Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek led his men from Guangdong to Beijing, successfully unifying China. The rebellions against him in the Central Plains War were quickly put down, but in 1937 came the greatest threat as Japan attacked with a brutal invasion. Chiang Kai-shek was forced to create a united front with the Communists, which, with which they fought the Japanese invaders and won. The Chinese Civil War, put on hold by the wartime truce between the Nationalists and Communists, soon broke out yet again. After the defeat of Japan, leading to a victory by the KMT, China was finally truly whole again, and this is where we start our story for China. China number one. In which we do have a unique focus tree in A Thousand Week Reich, but let us begin with the only thing we can do with Generalissimo Chiang. A great Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek rules China. But his rule is not total. Various warlords and KMT figures also hold considerable sway in government and are limits and risks to Chiang's power. They're, they must be dealt with somehow, and we do it by strengthening Chiang's position within China, which we gain some war support. We get a total of two! Two! Research slots. We better use them wisely. That, using our research slot for countrywide improvements, probably not the most ideal thing right now, but that could be pretty useful. Let's grab some Construction 1, because that'd be pretty good. Ooh, we have an agrarian economy and backward society. Ooh, that does not look good. Anything else here? Uh, 559 days. No, thank you. Oh, our rifles are even garbage. It's amazing we even have planes. Well then, let's go and grab some mechanical computing because we can do that pretty darn quickly. Let's assume everyone under one banner here. Uh, oops, I misclicked. There you go. We have uh, not a tiny military. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go and build up in our provinces that have some good infrastructure already. 50%, 50%, very nice. We'll see what happens when we get there. Do that, do that, do that, do that, and do that. Alright. Oh, we don't have anything here either. Let us let time go on since we already chose... Well, we don't have our factories yet. We don't want to be lacking anything. Uh, mechanized? Uh, I don't really care for mechanized. I prefer APCs. I, I like APCs just a little bit more. They are more, I would say, futuristic. Ooh, our early artillery. You cost more, so you should be better, right? I'm going to go with that idea. Um, I don't know. Seeing mechanized, I'm like, yeah, those are cool and all, but APCs, that's the future, man. That's the future, and we want to be with the future. Over here, same thing, all this stuff, whatever. Give me some main battle tanks. I love main battle tanks. Fighters, uh, wartime, wartime casts, uh, we might as well. Since we, hmm, you know what, I guess we'll use carriers, why not? Let's use carriers. I don't use interceptors, I don't use tactic bombers, even though they're pretty useful. Uh, transports, we could use them, but nah. Pre-war strats, we'll keep them on, though, for now. Okay, well, let's see. We're going to need a lot of guns where we're going. Lots and lots of guns. Grab two things of there, two things of that. We're all good. One, one, one. And do a lot of artillery because we need that. And get some more planes and then do some more casts. And then eventually we'll get some more of that and then some more of that. Put you at the bottom because I want to make more tanks quickly. And put you on two and put you on there. There you go. Good enough. All right. We have two whole dockyards. Hmm. Before we do that, let's look at the Navy. All right. So we got some... Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad, actually. That's a pretty good task force. This is even, Ooh, this is even better. I kind of like this. Ooh. I don't know what the devs have done, but they seem to know what they're doing when making, like, navies, at least so far from what I've seen, which I really love, so I really appreciate the devs doing what they're doing with this stuff, so keep it up, devs. If you're watching, keep it up. we got some subs here, too. Not bad. We shall use you to do that, and go ahead and train as well. We are going to have no fuel left, which is fine with me. So in the meantime, we're going to train our guys, get enough uh, naval XP so we don't need this, 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 or this. Uh, Cruiser, we might keep you on, just because everything else is just straight trash. I don't want to be bothered with this. Not even the sub stuff. Now it's garbage. Cool. Um, here, mm, we're going to have to research some sub stuff, but I'm not going to. And this one, these are the same numbers. Uh, which one is better? Let's see. Uh, oh, that's actually anti-sub, which is pretty good. I like that a lot, actually. Oh, you have more torpedoes, though. 
But you already have torpedoes on yourself, and I want to use use you more for anti setups. up, so goodbye. And are you a heavy cruiser or a light cruiser? You are a capital ship, so you are a heavy cruiser, which is... Uh, I'm going to go for convoys. If anything, uh, we'll make some carriers eventually, hopefully. So, let's let time go on. And organize this stuff. So, the tutorial, we don't really need to see the tutorial too much. I mean, they have the GDP mechanic, which is right here. Um, which is okay, UN mechanic. Um, we're pretty much ready to play. We're number three in the world, which is not bad. My goal by the end of this campaign is to have the highest GDP in the world. Which includes surpassing the Americans. Oh, those gosh darn Americans. But let's first take a look at our army. So we got some light infantry, Jun Tuan, which actually doesn't look too bad. Actually, it's not bad. 24 combo width is not ideal, but that's okay. Oh, I realize we can't edit these. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. Oh, this is going to be such a challenge. And do we... National Revolutionary Conscription, minus 100%. We can't even edit stuff. Oh, boy, I forgot about that stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. So the National Revolutionary Army... It served at the armed forces of the Republic of China, and paper is quite the formidable force indeed, with hundreds of divisions under its command after the divisional reorganization upon the defeat of the communists. The NRA is, in fact, in theory, a force capable of not only defending China from the foreign aggressors, but also a force which can be used to once again project Chinese influence across all of Asia. In practice, however, the NRA is a ragtag force of militias and semi-professional forces, with large sections of the military be being beyond the control of Chiang and the central government. The army is effectively split between the central government and large local Local, local powers within China. These powers, the Guangxi clique, Shangxi clique, Zaibi Sanma, and Yunnan clique, and the Dongbai authority will be reluctant to commit their personal forces to any conflict, and convincing them to submit to all the authority of the central government will be no easy task. We have 38 active divisions. Oh, I forgot about this. This looks terrible. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's going to be difficult. We, this is how we create divisions. Oh, and we have Chinese diplomacy. Liberate Macau. Nice. And Hong Kong. Nice. Nice stuff. Alright, so we have you guys. You say you are experts in the field, but your division organization template tells me otherwise. And we can't even, like, change these templates. Oh, oh, why? Why do you pain me so? Oh. Hey, he's got horses. That's cool. Well, that's the case. We'll do it like this. I'll split you guys in half. Boom. Boomerino. Alrighty, tidy. Oh, countrywide protest. How great! We've been receiving nationwide protests for the latter half of this week as the people have organized into r against the rising taxes and prices for basic goods. We've not yet responded, but our officers have done good work in clearing out the protesters. Soon the protests will end, hopefully. The troops are doing good. Uh, let's see, defensive doctrine. Oh, that's okay. That's not great. Oh, it's a faction member. Cool, I guess we'll use you for now since there's really not much else we can do. Unyielding defender is a pretty good one to have. Let's see. And you shall be Ma Ying. Oh, uh, cool, why not? And then you shall be whom? Uh, let's see. Ooh, yes, that looks very good. Jungle Rat? Well, let me just be real here. The way things are looking, we might need a Jungle Rat. Engineer might be pretty good as well. Promotion cost goes down. That's good him. He is looking pretty good. Alright, House of Cards. While internationally, Chang gives the impression of a powerful unified nationalist party ruling China with unity and efficiency and with himself at the top, the truth is far, the truth is far from that. The KMT itself is a mess of conflicting figures and interests, not to mention warlords still holding considerable power over their provinces. Chiang may be at the top, but he struggles to hold together these competing interests. Oh, that's unfortunate, I know. Quite unfortunate. But, you know what? You know what I don't like that everyone in China can agree upon? We don't like seeing a socialist southern neighbor, so... Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You never know what we might be, end up doing here. Do we have another field marshal? Uh, not yet, but we can promote somebody. Uh, Bengal truce, peace at last, death of Sevin Bjordsen. Sun Li Zhen speaks out. General Sun Li Zhen, a famous nationalist commander that has served us well during the Chinese Civil War and the Second Sino-Japanese War, has spoken out against his government and its allegedly oppressive and its allegedly oppressive economic and social policies. He has denounced P President Chiang's vision of a brand new nationalist China. We cannot shut him down as of his standing amongst the people, but we need to make moves against him. He has been nothing but trouble. And maybe we'll get rid of him eventually. We'll see what happens. You know, no promises, no guarantees. But the guarantee is that we'll probably go to war with uh, Vietnam. Uh, so I know that the whole thing between China and Vietnam and the Thousand Week Reich is that if I lose, I don't remember. There might be even more pathway pathways to play China if you actually lose and actually win. Because 
My goal is to win. My whole my goal is not to not lose, but we'll see what happens. Warehouse raid in Shanghai. Shanghai is one of its many warehouses raided by our police so force for allegedly holding opium and many other drugs and illegal substances and materials. We found those allegations to be true, and that the trial triads are linked to this warehouse. Our men are currently scouring the area for clues. Those god darn criminals it must be unrest in China or something. But you know what? I like seeing unified China, even though we don't own Mongolia's People's Republic or Tibet, but whatever. Our agents and lobbyists in America have successfully secured a new shipment of American aircrafts under the noses of the American authorities and evading all possible checks and tariffs on these smuggled goods. These aircrafts have been shipped to a secret location where our engineers are now busy studying their inner workings. We shall study this technology. Ha! Huh. Oh, Americans, if only you knew what was happening, which they might. Uh, but you know what? In the meantime, you know what? How about we support the, uh, the Germans there? We could use a spot of fuel. Oh, we only get six. Wait, do we only get six? Okay, never mind. Goodbye. Goodbye, Germany. So, unrest in Taiwan. After the end of the Second Sino Japanese War, the Republic of China liberated Taiwan from Japanese rule at first. The locals rejoiced and welcomed the Republican government, but living standards have allegedly declined since the arrival of the Taiwan Provin Provisional. Uh, Chief Executive's Office. A series of riots and uprisings occurred during the early stage of reintegration, with a major incident occurring in the 1950, as an accidental killing sparked over 20 days of riots and civil conflict between the groups of local militia and the Taiwanese garrison. Today, in Taipei and Kaohsiung, thousands of Taiwanese locals gather to mourn the death of these rebels and protest against cynicization that seeks the destruction of the culture, targeting internal immigrants, businesses, and the local authorities, while chanting for greater autonomy or complete independence from the corrupted Nanjing government. Leftist elements are suspected to be part of the driving force behind this protest, but the Taiwanese government claims to have the situation under control. Just go pew pew to them. German test an atomic bomb, House of Cards. To the outside world, Chang's regime in China seems as secure as can be. The truth is not quite simply so, though. The bloated KMT party is made up of various factions vying for power and held down only by a delicate balancing act by Chang himself. If he is to rule China in his own image, as he wants, without opposition from his party, he must consolidate control. The party has grown restless and factional since the destruction of the communists. Perhaps a new war against communism is in order to reunite the country and party behind the Generalissimo. We must bring order. We must target the communists, as always. Communists remain a threat and bothered at China. While we mostly stamped them out during the 40s, as always, a few managed to escape, survive, and multiply again. If Chiang, the KMT, and China as a whole are to truly come together in advance, the, K the communist threat must be more thoroughly stamped out. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, what's going to happen? The Norwegian thaw. Oh, surprising. Very surprising. Ah, oh, Taiwanese protests end. The protests in Taiwan have ended with the riot police pushing back the natives. No protesters or police were killed, though although many were injured. Including, in particular, a man beaten so hard his face had been left deformed in the bloody and bloody after attempting to attack an officer with a large sword. Well, what do you expect when you attack an officer with a sword? Many officers are wounded too, and those that were have, have been have been given distinctions. Good job. Good job, guys. Great job. Hey, Spain is having conflict. Great. Mechanical computing? Let's go ahead and do the next one. Com computing machine. Because, my goodness, we need as much research speed as humanly possible. Someone wins Finnish presidency. Exciting times for the Finns. Maybe we should send a phone call over and congratulate him. Or her. Or it, I don't know. Let's see. You guys are looking not bad, but it's going to seriously take some time to actually get these all done. So go ahead and go home for now. Algerian Republic declare war on the Oran Free State. So be it. Uh, I really don't want to limit us to one... Or none, actually. <sighs> these are not bueno, or super bueno. But if we're going to make these... Oh, God, we have, like, nothing here. You know what? Torpedo 2 is not bad. Oh, it's better than Torpedo 1. Hey, light battery... Mm. Oh, this just this just pains me seeing all this stuff. I'm not going to lie. Just, oh, why is it like this? Why, 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 why must you pain me? Oh, boy. But the German greater... The greater German Reich is looking pretty good. The herding coup. Oh! Except in role, National Sandlings paramilitary that Herden's been overthrowing the government. I'm assuming this is Norway. Yeah, that's Norway. Oh. Sather. Orvar Sather. You have quite the chin, sir. Quite the chin. Free French in Africa. Interesting. Of course, they're a German puppet. And we have a Gulag Revolts. The Council of Sahara. Nomadic Alliance. So they have a unique focus tree. That seems kind of cool. Death of Beria. Oh, quite interesting. Uh, not really a unique focus tree, but that looks really cool. I like that. I like the Council of Sahara. Oh, and Algeria's in a mess. Hmm. As well as, kind of, Morocco. Not that much manpower, but you have the French authority. I still need to play the French in this, uh... Oh, De Gaulle? In this mod, he plays them. The Limbo Exiles. Huh. Minority state? 
And poor industrial capacities. Actually, do I, have, do I really do have unique focus tree? I have to play as them someday. But someday, not but not, not today. Anti-communist crackdown. <coughs> oh boy, at, despite the defeat of Mao's army, communism remains as a force within Chinese society, a threat just hidden from view but under our noses nonetheless. We must root out all those who threaten our nation with such ideas, or else they will rise up again like they did after the Long March. Hunt them down. Yes. All right. Well then, handling the cliques the southern border, creating a scapegoat. I like scapegoating. The communist Vietnamese have been harboring some communist exiles from our country. While this is irritating, it is mostly harmless as Vietnam has no hope of destroying us. That said, we could use this to our advantage. With the Vietnamese acting in such a way as aid, as a way to aid traitors to our nation, we can use this as an excuse to create a new scapegoat to concentrate the nation's energy on Vietnam itself. And also. I completely ne neglected the Air Force for good reason, because there's only one in supply. Okay. Oh, you don't even have that enough here. Uh, Kolnev has been elected leader. I need to play as Russia, too, or the Soviet Union, or whatever it's called in this campaign. I think it's the Soviet Union. Cool. Yeah. Soviet Union. Fighters. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, there you go. Opening the German Metro. Impressive. The Hu Shi Doctrine. Oh. Oh, let's hear what the philosopher has to say. Defending the statements is a necessary move for China to build an Asia free from tyranny and ready for democracy on the, their own terms. Well, we'll see what happens. Look, okay, get some more planes down here. Can we combine them? Oh, we have even more fighters down here, too. Why do you have so many fighters? I mean, I like the fighters and all, but, uh. Close air support would be pretty nice to have. Yeah, we could really use some close air support. There you go. Wartime fighters, less than that. Shady dealings in the Reich. And we'll grab some improved competing machine. It's going to take even longer, but it's going to be necessary. Oh, 107. They just dropped from, jumped from 111 to 107, but that's cool. Japan renounces the right to war, which is a good thing. Uh, Republic of India did their stuff. India, well, you actually really divided India. Huh. Do you even need focus tree? The RSS is defeated. Let's hope this ends in violence. So many events popping up. Oh my goodness. May Day bloodbath in Japan. Uh, Egyptian martial law. Cool. What about over here? So, India does have unique, kind of unique focus tree. New arms age. This has got some diplomatic things to do. So, Vietnam the scapegoat. While we've begun to properly deal with the last of the communists within our nation, many have already fled into communist rule in Vietnam, and the more continue to follow them. Bolstering the numbers of the Vietnamese army is clear that they intend to subvert us from the safety across the border. This cannot be allowed to continue. Vietnam, in, in its existence, is a threat to our state and must be destroyed. We denounce Vietnam for their actions. I, if you want me to play as India, please let me know, because this looks really cool. All this extra stuff, imported American products, comes in with New India. Ooh, wait, the Gandhian entrepreneurial spirit. Look at that. Look at, do you see this national, or this focus? Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Unite India under revolution. Oh my goodness. I have to do this someday. I have to. I, I, I might just play all three. Oh, that looks so cool. Gandhi, oh my gosh. Uh, handling the cliques. To this day, various warlord groups and cliques hold significant autonomy and power within the overall government of China. For China's stability and progress, these groups must be dealt with. Either brought into the line or onto our side or weakened. There's so many different things we can do. Ooh, Desai elected. That's a guy I didn't say, but he's, he has the one with uh, the more right wing of the Indian National Congress. That's a guy who has a Gandhi dude on his side. Oh, we have no stability. Oh. Oh. Oh, we could get another division. That'd be kind of okay with me, but what do we have here? Oh, all this. Oh, God. No. Agarian. Oh, no. How do we get over here? With a mixture of some industry? Maybe if I just build up myself more, that, that might help. National Revolutionary. Oh, God. I mean, I mean, we have enough manpower, but still. Export focus? Eh, not bad. I mean, this stuff is okay, but it hurts your consumer goods, which I really don't want to do. So, I mean, research speed, that does help. I mean, that 10% would not be bad. Dockyard output's okay. Uh, motorized, we're not really using motorized. That wouldn't be bad, actually. More soft attack and 20% better production cost, but worse research speed. The 60th arsenal, that's different. No clear winner in the UK. Usually some guy wins, but I guess no clear winner. At least in my campaigns. Oh, that's not bad. I want to use close air support. Less armor, more deck size. That's actually pretty good. But that's too much. It's too expensive for us. But we must deal with the cliques. Power in China is divided between various cliques. And to stay as leader, Chiang must balance their wants and with their power to keep them loyal. Many promises have to be made in order in order, and back the door meetings with various local leaders and favors done. Perhaps then they will be willing to support Chiang and his next goals outside China's borders. Let's hope this works. Oh, whoops. They're not positive. Oops, my bad. Oh, we lost all that political power. Well, god dang it. The southern border. 
When he smashed the communists within China, those that survived fled into neighboring countries. Many crossed the border into communist controlled Vietnam, welcomed by Ho Chi Minh as allies. As a result, we must regard Vietnam as an enemy nation that has aided traitors to our country and act accordingly with regards to our southern border. Ah. Very nice. A little bit of lag, but that's okay. Y'all looking good. We, we gotta get some close air support. Conservatives win in Korea. Oh, actually. The A6... AT-6. Texan. Now that's cool. That's very cool. Can I at least get this up to 100, please? There we go. Pan elected as in Mexico. Let's see how this goes for Mexico. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen down there. Looking not too bad. We could use more fuel. The U.S. tests a hydrogen bomb. Well, good for the Americans, I guess. Go on, train, guys. You're not great. You're not perfect. But you'll do okay, in my book. It's clear where the greatest threat to China lies. To the south, where the surviving Chinese communists have fled into the open arms of the Vietnamese. Ho Chi Minh rules over Asia's strongest social state, aiding those traitors who would subvert our rule, preparing to send them back across the border with their support. It is clear something must be done. We cannot let such a small Southeast Asian nation stand to oppose the might of a united China. It is southward our army will look. Vietnam must be punished. <sighs> well, we'll see what happens. And a war of liberation. Our nationalist Vietnamese allies are ready to rise up in the north and north near our border, and local forces are prepared to attack. We only have to give the signal for them to begin their uprising, and then we can send our own forces in to help them and to liberate the nation of Vietnam from its communist rulers. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, there goes all around free state. Very good. Uh, we just got to make sure we got plenty of guns, plenty of anti-tank, plenty of all this stuff. Guys, it's going to be important to make. End of the Algerian War, but what did it cost? Peace at what cost? If that's the case, oh, you guys are almost done, actually. Are you, you guys are. Mm, well, mm. go and repair, all y'all. Actually, we can let time go on. I'm gonna split you guys in half. There we go. Two task forces are nice. Construction one, great, 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 great. Military factory construction speed would be pretty good. I'm gonna grab this. It's so long, but it allows us to build. Actually, can we already build these? No, we can't build this, because I want to make sure we can build that so we can make China number one when in building. So let's get this done now. I think that would be pretty beneficial. And we can't do land auction. Oh, well, we can. But it takes so long to do. 525 days. It's better than the 555 days that we started with. But let's make it even better. So, advanced computer machine? Why not? That political power looks really bad. Alright, so instead of... Uh, well, I guess technically you both were there. So we, my goal is to blitz through here and get down here as fast as possible. This war ain't gonna be an easy one, but it will be winnable. Because I actually have I have won it before off screen, so because I wanted to try them out. The Montreal Massacre, Spanish victory in North Africa, so many things are going on. How not Canadian of them? War of Liberation, rid Vietnam of communism. The time has finally come. Our northern allies in northern Vietnam, our northern allies in northern Vietnam, our allies in northern Vietnam, ready to resist the scourge of communism with our support, are ready to rise up. It is finally within our grasp to rid the Asian continent of communism and bring vengeance to those Chinese communists who have escaped into Vietnam. Our forces, while unprepared, can surely bring a crushing victory with overwhelming numbers. We can now only to send. Now we only have to send in men, and we shall be trumpet for China. Well, we'll see what happens. Hmm. And, uh, Kingdom of Morocco's gone, if you were interested. Uh, we're gonna do the Vietnam War. Oh, we have Eastern Seas. We have Blue Skies over China. We can't do anything else, though. So, yep. The Vietnam War. After a victory in the Civil War and the efforts of the Singman Ri in Korea, the cursed Red Tide suffered a sound defeat in East Asia, and with the bloated corpse of the Union busting open in Europe as well. And now there only remains two more places bordering us, subjugated by the Red Horde, Mongolia and Vietnam. While the country is still reeling, however, from the ravages of the Civil War, we will unfortunately have to focus on one target at a time. As such, the Generalissimo has decreed that we are to strike the jungles of Vietnam first. That actually sounds terrifying. Striking the jungles of Vietnam? Maybe I'm just an American, but oh, I don't know, man. That does not sound like a lot of fun. But you know what? That's why I'm not going in, and these soldiers are. All right, before we attack, let's see. Do we have, a, do we have an upgrade? Yeah, yes. 15% would be very good. Immediately hop out and just beeline it down there. Uh, no. you got to get in here, boy. Nice. You're going to go straight that. Yes, yes, please. You're going to go ahead and just immediately move in, everyone. That would be great. Actually, you know what? There you go. That's a little better. Go, go, go. You guys. Oh, God. We attack over a river. Uh, let's not attack Hanoi because they're probably going to really fortify. It's already fortified a lot. So your goal is to go. Ooh That's all I want. 
Guangxi neutrality. Despite being an integral part of the Republic, Guangxi under Li Zongren has been declared off-limits for the Vietnamese expedition. While Li Zongren's reasons are unclear, he states that the region of Guangxi is severely lacking in infrastructure and supplies, making it an unsuitable location for operations. While the central government is scrambling to reopen the front, Guangxi troops have already been assigned to guard the front. While the Generalissimo is furiated to hear Li Zongren's refusal to cooperate, he did not wish to provoke Li, therefore allowing Li and Zongren and Guangxi to stay neutral during this conflict as long as the border is defended and supply lines remain open. These god dang bastards. Let's get rid of these guys immediately so you just walk through them quickly. The sound of Vietnamese war. How could Vietnamese farmers win? And the US criticizes us immediately, of course. Man German space flight. Cool. Also, uh, we don't have a lot of fuel, but we got a little bit in which I'm going to station you guys right outside here. See what you can do. That would be great. And we almost won. Come on, move, 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 move. Just go right there. Just go ahead. Put a bunch of pressure on these guys. Uh, go right here, guys. Especially those tanks. We need those tanks now. And immediately push over as fast as possible. Uh, they have two divisions there. Uh, the infantry, the tanks are not in the battle yet. That is fine. That is fine. Uh, Ethiopia and rising. Uprising. Cool. Oh, they're still fighting over there. Whatever. They'll, they'll probably do okay. If you guys could get in there, all of you, you might be able to push them in. Now, obviously, we can't win there, but that's okay for now. Um, the Vietnamese War. Uh, cease fire in Vietnam and Chinese withdrawal. Uh, nah, we good, we good. I think we know what we're doing. Maybe. Purchase foreign firearms, we lose political power and war support. Uh, at 3% war support. I mean, you might as well, right? Yeah, let's go and purchase some foreign firearms. Despite our best efforts, both China's heavy, light, and agricultural sectors still have much to be desired, especially the latter will have to need some need to have some working once we are out of this green hell. For now, however, despite our analysis and stellar relations, the TA and other countries committed to freedom and profit will have to aid us in patching over these holes. For now. And I forgot to do this, so it's... Oh, actually. Why not? There you go. Einstein visits Israel. Well, I hope you enjoy it over there. Don't have any issues, please. That would not be very good. If we could break over here, that'd be great. Now, obviously, we're not winning in most locations. I mean, our divisions are not that good. My goal is just to continue crushing these guys over here, though. Uh, let's see. No peasant resolutions. I'm going to vote no. Okay. The resolution fails. People's victory in Sweden. Cool. Come on, guys. There's only two of them. Uh, yeah, this is what I kind of figured what would happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and hold for now. Purchase foreign firearms. Bomb. Bomb. Vietnam. Cool. With the Vietnamese jungles being unpierceable by the naked eye, we shall deliver something to them that will definitely do. Our finest bombers shall deliver payload after payload onto their positions and hiding spots until they won't ever even be able to fight back once their men assault their positions. The Republicans may not be entirely pleased by us turning their land into a rubble, but so will the Communists if we do not strike them down in time. That sounds like a lot of fun, not gonna lie. Bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, are you sure we don't get one that they're half strength, man? They're half strength, come on. Oh. Ooh, no, 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 don't move. Actually, you should help strike right here. CCF victory in Canada? Cool. Saskatchewan did it. We can do, do it. We can do it too. Cool. Now, this is the breaking point. You guys have to win immediately. Okay, we won over. Okay, the war's over. War's done. Maybe. Great. All I need is like half you guys to get right here, and then you just get right there and cut off southern Vietnam from everyone else, and we'll have a great time. Free France joins the accord, as expected. All right. Okay, then. Um, well, then. Well, y'all can just stop moving, I guess, for a second there. Uh, yeah, I could have kept attacking, but you know what? Kind of hang out. Have a good time as you guys get more reorganized. Go ahead and hold for two, for now. Don't worry about it. Just reorganize yourselves. Make sure we got the infantry moving all around. That's all that matters. Yep, yeah, this is going to be good. And you guys, focus on southern Vietnam. There you go. Now, obviously, they're still going to get supplies here, but you know what? We don't have to starve. We've already lost 12,000 people. Ooh, we can bomb Vietnam. I love it. Bomb Ho Chi Minh route. Chinese bombings, they get more supply consumption. Oh, yeah, let's do that since they're starving already. So, the Ho Chi Minh route named after this, their beloved leader stretches forth like a snake from south to north, delivering everything day, everything day myriad of equipment, men, and supplies to the partisans on the front lines. And with the supply never stopping, they may just wear us down in time with our previous anti-partisan organizations or operations, largely futile thanks to them easily re replacing them. That is, of course, if we don't bomb it till they don't even know where the route was even once. The Great Offensive. Um... I mean, honestly, we don't need that now. Since we cut them off. This stuff is okay. Honestly, this is okay. 
I think I'll just do blue skies or something over Vietnam or China. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Go right ahead, guys. <clears throat> there you go. If you want to help him out? Go ahead. Help him out as well. Yeah, Vietnam. Not gonna have a good time in this uh, this lifetime. They're starving for supplies too, so. Just gotta slow this over mountain. Do not take Saigon and then kill them in Hanoi and then take out Saigon. Oh, we're out of fuel. Uh, America to the mine if we get more fuel from them, right? I didn't think so. Cool, and they are gone. Good job, guys. Good job, Huang Ji. Just, it doesn't look like they have any divisions. Just go right ahead. If that's the case, we're gonna go ahead and do this as well. You go home. Have a good time. Death of Weizmann, bomb the Ho Chi Minh routes. We could do that. Let's use Eastern Seas. Kao Kao was once ruled of the seas. From the midst, the sun and moon emerge. From its depths flows the rivers of stars. Then as now, power flowed from the control of waterways. Then as now, China saw danger and opportunity. The executive Yuan has ordered the ROC Navy to begin large-scale modernization and re-equipping to bring the country's littoral zone under control and eventually develop genuine capabilities like those of our Western counterparts. We are faced with a choice to assume American dominance as a... Fate compli and rely on it for our own growth or to contest it and prepare for the day when they will leave. They will determine our strategic foci and research options for decades to come. It would be best to choose wisely. Very, very wisely. And the tanks and the horses are just strolling through southern Vietnam. MacArthur Oh! Okay, so when I play as the United States, I actually had MacArthur to win. I did not know that they do the exact same thing. And of course Truman's still leading because it's November, but that's okay. All right, it seems like it's time. Hello, Hanoi. Goodbye. Uh, actually, we were going to send you supplies, but yeah, we'll get a oh, convoy. Sure, why not? All right, righty tighty. Who's going to fall first? Well, what falls first, a man or his chairs? Oh, wait, wrong mod. Uh, let's see. Ver I mean, this is... Mm, you know what? We're going to stop these assaults. You know what? I'm going to stop the assaults going south. Go ahead and stop. I want to watch this. This is nice. This is nice. The death of W Man? W Man. At the age of 69. Nice, but unfortunate. Oh, yes. Yes. Just cut them off from their capital, and they all just slowly go bye bye. I don't know where they go, but they go bye bye. They just go straight bye bye. 13,000. 50,000 losses, man. That's not even competing. Oh, yes. And it's just all guys. See, China can take on a bunch of Vietnamese farmers. Not that problem. All right, let's continue going down south. They all don't. They don't need it. Okay, they're all dead. Okay, they, they, they. Shh, Nikes. Wow, wow. Coup d'état in Guatemala. So uh, eventually, some other day, I'll probably play as China again. But I'll probably try to lose. Maybe I don't know. We'll see what happens. You guys will let me know if there's special things that should happen in. Uh, Vietnam, but that's going to end or conclude today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we're going to try, or at least attempt, to make China, the Republic of China, number one. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. After you tell me whether I should do contest American dominance or cooperate with the West. Thanks for watching again, and have a great rest of your day.